Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to give my phone a little makeover. So first thing, I'm going to show you how it looks. So this is a phone case that was gifted to me by my friend. I think it's super cute. And yes, this is a picture of Loki. I know. Anyways, uh, so my phone isn't that much of a mess because I already tried to do a theme. So um but i wanted something new so what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy a new phone case first and i'm actually going to use this app that is for secondhand items i think it's really important that you try to buy more second hands instead of new especially since most of the time the items are like basically new like they're brand new so a week later I received the item, so let me show you the phone case. It's a super simple phone case, but it's because I already planned to uh, customize it and make it more um, unique. Okay, so now for the accessories, I'm first going to wipe my phone because it's been a while since I did that, so I'm just going to clean it very well. Then I'm going to place this cute phone grip that I got from Tivon. I'll leave you guys the link in the description. I just love this artist so much. I think you can tell by now. So I'm going to place it on my new phone case. It's not the perfect uh, purple. On camera it does show a little bit more, but in real life it just doesn't show that much. It looks the same kind of purple, so it's fine. And now I'm going to place two stickers from T1 inside the phone case because I just love this cute art thing. I think it's just so much cuter and so unique because you can just customize your phone case however you want. So for the organization, I'm going to start by deleting all the shortcuts I already have on my home screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the apps that I don't need anymore. Then I'm going on Pinterest to find um, the wallpaper as well as the icons. And as you can see, I get distracted very easily when I'm on Pinterest. So I was looking for a while uh, for the wallpaper, even though you'll see later that I ended up picking the one that I first saw, uh, it was the first recommendation, so um, I picked this one. And I'm also saving uh, a lot of icons. I'm trying not to save the icons that are like stolen art and made, like, you know, when people just take the art and make it, like, they edit it, you know, so I'm trying not to use these. I really hope that I didn't use any of these. Um, so yeah, I'm, that's what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to share with you a tip that I actually saw on another video, and it's basically the heart widget 
uh, Gingnam thing. Anyways, so basically I'm going to use uh, line play for this and I'm just going to cut a heart shape uh, on a Gingnam uh, pattern that I liked and then I'm going to go over my wallpaper and stick it um, at the place that I want it to be on my uh, home screen and then I'm adding a little bit of blur uh, behind it and I'm going to use um, Widget Smith to then uh, put it on my home screen and it's gonna look so good anyways. Now, as you can see, I already have my shortcuts um, already there, but if you don't, I recommend you post the video and maybe do this for all the apps you want on your home screen. And so I'm just going to tap uh, add to home screen, then I'm going to select the picture and add it. And that's so easy. It doesn't look like it, but I promise it's really easy. So then I'm going to add a widget for the clock and I'm going to edit the widget as I told you earlier, I'm going to use the one I made. And I love the result, it's so cute. Finally, I'm just spinning uh, my games because if I don't see them, I just don't play them and they end up just like taking some space and I'm not using them, so I'm just going to put them uh, on my home screen so that I can see them. And that's basically it. So that's how my phone looks like in the end. And I'm really happy with the result. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it helped you or inspired you. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.